I recently did a video on the EIX tool for Portage, which is used for searching for packages that Portage knows about from Gentoo Tree. As I said in the video, EIX is a much superior searching tool than the built-in emerge dash dash search command. But one little caveat is that every time that you sync Portage to the remote repositories, which you usually do before a system upgrade, for instance, you have to regenerate EIX's binary cache which is what it uses to do the search commands. And you do that with the command with sudo privileges EIX hyphen update. Now you could do this manually every time you sync portage, but a much better way to do it is to just let it happen automatically. And we can do that with post sync hooks. Now I've already made a video about post sync hooks. Um, the long and short of it is that post sync hooks are any executable scripts that are in either the Etsy portage postsync.d directory, which I am in right here, or in the Etsy portage repos.postsync.d directory. I'll link my video on postsync hooks in the description to go into more detail about them, but suffice it to say that any executable script that is located in the postsync.d directory will be executed immediately following an emerge dash dash sync command. So knowing that, we can simply put a script in here to run the eix update command after every sync and maybe do a few other useful things for us. Now the Gentoo wiki here talks about this process and they actually have a nice little bash script here which I've essentially just copied and put in my postsync.d directory here in EIX. Let's go ahead and open it up and look at it. Now this is just a very very simple bash script. All it's going to do is it's going to run the EIX command but it's also going to go through the process of using the EIX diff tool to show us the changes that the update has actually caused to happen. As you can see here, what it does is it checks to make sure that the var cache eix portage.eix file exists. And if it does, it makes a copy of that in the same directory and it calls the copy previous.eix. Then it runs the eix update command to sync eix's binary cache to the portage database of available packages. And then it checks to make sure that that previous.eix file exists. And if it does, it performs eix diff on the two files in the cache, which will display the changes that have happened because of this eix update. So we can test if this works by simply running sudo emerge dash dash sync to sync to the remote repositories. So I'll go ahead and run this. And it'll take a moment for this to run. Okay, and it's just finished running. And as you can see here, the output for EIX update has been printed out and I had just recently ran this command and so the generated cache is actually identical to the one that was already there so there's no diff but if there had been a diff it would have printed it out right here in this area. Now this is very excellent this allows you to automatically update EIX every time you sync portage to its remote repositories which means that anytime you want to run the EIX search for something like Firefox or what have you it will always provide you with accurate resu results that are updated to your current installed version of Portage because syncing Portage is now tied directly to syncing EIX's binary cache. So this is definitely something if you use EIX that you probably want to do. It's really one of the most common use cases for post sync hooks and I definitely recommend doing it if you intend to use EIX yourself. Anyway, that was just a short video talking about this particular part of EIX. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.